Anxiety is a foul spirit. You have the authority under your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to come up against that foul spirit. Rebuke it and cast it down in Jesus name. Anxiety is not just something that happens to you as a result of something else. It's a literal foul spirit, a literal demon that falls under the category of fear. It wants to hinder you, overwhelm you, paralyze you, intimidate you, cripple you. Uh, it wants to stop you. It wants, it wants to overcome you. It wants to consume you. Actually, it wants to do those things because it's actually afraid of you. You are the threat to it. You are a threat to the enemy and all his imps and pimps and all his demons. You are a threat. You may be thinking like some of girl, how am I a threat? What, what do I do? What do I do? You are a child of the most high God. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Christ lives within you. The Holy Spirit dwells within you. The one that defeats them, <laughs> the one that defeats Satan himself, lives within you. You are a threat to them. So what they try to do is they try to get you first. They are gonna try to stop that purpose that is within you. Because let me tell you something, you may not see it, but demons live in the spiritual realm. They can see the light that is within you. They can see your spirit. <laughs> Even if you can't see it, the enemy can see it and he's gonna try to stop it. And one of the ways that he does is through anxiety. Anxiety is something that is not yours. One of the things that I want y'all to do, I know it might take some getting used to, but what I do not want you to do is claim anxiety as yours. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. So you're used to saying, my anxiety, my this, when, when it happens to me, when I get it, oh, I have bad anxiety. You're used to saying that. And because you're saying that, not condemning you, not trying to make you feel bad. I'm trying, I, I want you guys to understand because you're saying that it's making those foul spirits feel welcome to keep coming back to you because you're taking ownership of it. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. You're taking ownership of them. So they're going to feel like, oh, I can keep coming back because she keep claiming me. He keep claiming me so I can keep coming back. If y'all knew somebody, right? And that person went out on the streets and said, oh, that's my friend. That's my friend. They, uh, we be hanging out. I see her all the time. You're going to feel welcome to keep coming back. You're like, okay, yeah, we're friends. Like, we be hanging out. But if somebody went out in the streets and start saying, oh, I don't know them. Who is that? Who is she? I, she can't sit with us. She don't belong here. I don't like her. Ugh. You going to be like, oh. and you going to know that you are not welcome in their presence and you're not going to come back. You do the same thing to them foul spirits. Under the authority of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, you tell them foul spirits in Jesus name. You have no authority here. You have no purpose here. Get out in Jesus name. It's a literal foul spirit that tries to attack you. It's not just something that happens. Like imagine if somebody just came up and start hitting you. Bah, 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 bah. You may be thinking like, how do you overcome this thing? First, 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 first. You have the authority to pray against that. Rebuke it and cast it down. Say, I rebuke anxiety in the mighty and precious name of Jesus. Call it by its name. Stand on the word of God. I was summoned, what scriptures can I stand on? For the Lord did not give me the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. The Lord did not give you anxiety. You cannot claim anything that is not yours. If God didn't give it to you, it's not yours, babe. Don't even claim it. You're destined for peace. That foul spirit of anxiety wants to disrupt your peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Peace is what you're supposed to have, what you're meant to have. Peace is what the Holy Spirit produces. Now, don't get me wrong. There are practical ways to combat anxiety. That is something spiritual that you have to get to the root of. You have to uproot that, not just cut down the tree. I'm not saying don't do your practical ways, but spiritually, you have to uproot that thing. Rebuke it and cast it down in Jesus' name. Bind it up. You have that authority. And don't feel like you can't be honest with the Lord about it. Be like, Lord, they trying me. They trying to overwhelm me, Jesus. I don't like it. Pray to the Lord to, to give you the words to say, the words to pray, the boldness to come up against that thing because you do not have to take what the enemy tries to dish you. I promise. Another scripture that you can use and recite and say, I submit myself to the Lord and I resist the enemy and he has to flee. Demons have to flee at the name of Jesus. They ain't got no choice. They don't have the privilege. I don't care if you guys sit there, you say Jesus, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. You say that over and over. I don't know why I'm saying this. But ever since I was little, my grandmother always used to say, if you were asleep and you feel something come over you and hold you down, if that happens to you, you say Jesus, and if it covers your mouth, 
Think Jesus. Think the name of Jesus. Jesus, Holy Spirit, and all your angels will come on the scene and they will annihilate that thing. Same rules apply to, to that thou spirit of anxiety. If you feel that thing try to come upon you, paralyze you, maybe you can't breathe, maybe you can't talk, maybe you can't move. I don't care if you have to think the name of Jesus. You think about Jesus because he hears your thoughts. So he's going to come up to the scene and he got you. So this is a prayer that the Holy Spirit gave me. You can recite this prayer. You can save this video, um, play it back. But this is a prayer that the Holy Spirit gave me, okay? You can say this prayer too. You got that authority. I rebuke anxiety in Jesus' name. I stand in my authority as a child of the Most High God. And I command anxiety to go back to the pits of hell where it came from. I rebuke you, bind you up, and cast you down in Jesus' name. You have no place, no authority here. I am a dwelling place for the Holy Spirit, and demons cannot dwell where the Holy Spirit dwells in Jesus' name. Thank you for your peace, Jesus. You are Jehovah Shalom, God, and you did not give me the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind in Jesus' name. So fear and anxiety has no place here. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus, amen, amen, and amen. Fear and anxiety don't have a place in you, but you have the authority to tell it to flee. Demons flee at the name of Jesus. Satan has to obey the word of God. And once you use the word of God and you use that authority that is in you, <laughs> they can't do nothing to stop you, baby. <laughs> the Lord did not give you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind.